Hi guys, welcome back to the CNN Kids and Family channel. Today we're going to be showing you, or I'm going to be showing you, how to do some make-ahead breakfast meals for the week. All right, so the first thing we're going to make are some banana muffins. Um, they're just gonna be straight banana muffins, no pecans or anything like that. So if you guys are adding this, or if you guys are gonna make it at home, you can add whatever other things that you like. So you'll need some flour, some baking soda, some baking powder, some salt, you'll need sugar, you'll need melted butter, you'll need vanilla extract, of course the bananas. Um, yeah, so let's get started. <music> guys so go ahead and heat your oven up to 350 degrees and next let's get started with the ingredients so you're gonna add one and one half cups of flour and then you need to add your baking powder so one teaspoon of baking powder and then one teaspoon of baking soda after you add those you're going to add your half a teaspoon of salt after you add those dry ingredients then you're going to mix 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 all right so when you're baking you always want to use the exact ingredients all right so let's move on to our wet ingredients all right guys so we're gonna add our bananas in the bowl and we're going to mush them up these bananas are not as ripe as I would like them to be um, I would like them to be darker which makes them sweeter um, so but we're gonna work with it so we'll add and mush those bananas in the bowl and then we'll add 3 fourths cup of sugar. We're gonna add 1 third cup of melted butter and one large egg. And you stir this up really well. And then the next thing you'll add is your vanilla extract. So you need one teaspoon of vanilla extract and mix, mix, mix. You don't want to um, mush your bananas up too much. It makes the batter really heavy. So um, the next thing we're gonna do is add our dry and wet ingredients together. Now when adding this together, you wanna slowly fold in your dry ingredients into your wet ingredients. Do not mix them all at once and don't stir them, fold the ingredients together. It's really important that you do that so your batter is really airy, okay? All right, enjoy. Y'all can see Nyla, she was helping me. She was being a big girl while dad was filming mommy make some banana muffins. My kids love banana muffins. So normally they help me make it, but today I think they had other things to do. But Nyla, she's always beside me. So she's gonna be everywhere I go. So now you're going to fill each, um, each muffin portion about halfway up. The recipe, the recipe says a third of the way, but I just do about a halfway. But you know, you can always come back in with more if you wanna start it out. So you just fill this. <laughs> Before you put it in the oven, just go through, wipe all the excess off. Um, I ain't got a little. So now it's time to put it in the oven for about 20 minutes on 350. Let's go. So the next thing I'm gonna show you guys how to make are egg muffins. And these are essentially like mini omelets baked into muffin tins. All right, so first you need to grease your muffin tins either um, either you spray them or you grease them, however you want to do. Um, and then the ingredients that you need, again, these are omelets, so whatever you want to put in them, you can. What I'm going to put in them is cheese, spinach, sausage, 
and of course eggs so at the bottom of all of that mixture you're going to want to put some form of a potato so if you have like shredded potatoes um if you have tater tots or you can just use regular hash browns and that's what i'm using so you're going to go ahead and grease everything and then we're going to put the potatoes at the bottom so let's get started so i peeled the potato all of these are peeled potatoes obviously and then i just so now the potatoes are all shredded up and what I'm gonna do is put a little bit of cheese in this mixture just a little bit and I'm using mild cheddar but I'm just gonna put a little bit of cheese in the mixture kind of like a binding agent and yeah we're gonna put these at the bottom of the muffin tin and then we'll get started all right, so after you are done filling your muffin tins with the hash brown and cheese mixture, you're going to get your eggs ready and you're going to crack several eggs in this, okay? Take me long. So I've cracked 12 eggs in here. I'm just going to whisk them up. And then I'm going to add some, I'm gonna add some salt and pepper. Just like you would, again, just like you would make an omelet. I'm gonna add some salt and pepper. sausage mm. and then I'm gonna add some spinach fresh spinach yes this looks so yummy okay and then I'm going to add some more cheese. <laughs> All right. Cheese. to go in the oven all right guys so everything is done here are our banana muffins and here are our egg muffins everything looks delicious I can't wait to try them in the morning but this is just something that I do to make it easier on me um yeah so to store them you can put it in a plastic bag um, like a gallon size bag or something like that put it in the fridge and in the morning wrap them in a napkin and warm them up and they're ready to go. I hope you guys like this video. Um, if you want to see more like food videos from us, you can check out the description box below. I'll link some of our mukbangs down there. And thanks for watching. Leave us a comment. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like the video. And we will see you guys next time on CNN Kids and Family. Family.